Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, ladies and gents, and welcome back to Ostrev. We are now playing on the 4.7.2 version. There has been a little hot fix in the time between the recording of this episode and the recording of the last episode. But as I have previously stated, I will not be doing an up a update video on it because it is not a major update. So, without further ado, let's get into our settlement for this year which i actually believe is year number nine which is <laughs> pretty crazy if you think about it i can't believe i've actually been doing this for nine years now so objective this year try and get as many of these houses finished as we possibly can i feel like we kind of need to start building some sort of logistics infrastructure over here um, I think we can, once we've gotten these houses in and we have more people in, then we can possibly look at getting things like a forestry and such over here, as well as them having them over there, because I feel like the logistics is being extended quite a lot to, uh, to get that far to take resources and such. Maybe we can just do a warehouse and things like that. So, we have farming coming up which starts in March, we also have fishing coming up which starts in March when the uh, thaw goes, so I have set, uh, oh yeah I needed to set this didn't I, off season, apply to all. So we've taken away our three jobs in the off season which is January, February and November, December when the water is frozen and then they will be useful during the months when they can actually be used uh, otherwise you have people sitting there getting paid for not doing a job which is not very good for your economy so my objective at the moment is obviously to get to March for the growing season to start however I want to are we able to change these we are able to change these wonderful I'm going to change these so that we are we are growing this year and not going fallow however I want to try and see if I can do something so I'm not having those active because these fields are active with the plows on so I want to see if I can get these fields plowed while or I want to see if I get these fields ploughed before the end of March and then get the plough over to this field, over to this farm to plough these four fields before the end of March. It's going to be a tall order but we are going to give it a try. So, construction still going on in there, we have another about a month and a quarter to wait until the, uh, until the snow disappears so that's absolutely fine. How many people do we have working on these? These are nearly full. Do we have people looking for jobs? We do. Okay, let's open up the labour then. And uh, let's speed that up for about a month before the farming comes in where we will need all hands on deck. Now, we are still, as in the last video, having an issue with salt. And it's mainly because of the... Or it's mainly through the tannery, I should say, not because of it. We need salt to create leather and our salt works can't work without draft animals and we can't do that without leather because we need leather to make the I can't remember the name of it we need leather to make the stuff to make draft animals so it's <laughs> you know it's kind of the, one of those things where you need something to get something going, but you also need something to make that thing to get going. So, yeah, it's it's not helpful. So, we're prioritising on the lime kiln at the moment just to get it finished. And I'm hoping once these last little bits of lime come in, we will actually be able to get this thing cooking. And then we won't have to worry we won't have to worry about the lime anymore, we'll just have to worry about the salt. Now, also, I need to get someone in the trading post because I'm hoping that when traders come in, 
they are going to have salt and I can buy salt off of them and solve my entire issue of like kind of the blockade I have of this settlement uh, growing. So we also have the lime works ready to go once this thing produces quick lime. Unfortunately, I don't think we can hire labourers to do this job. Well, sorry, I, I don't think we can hire workers. I think it has to be done on labourers, which is really unfortunate. Right, we have a messenger. Do they have salt? No, but they have lime. Ha. Huh. How much does that sell for, then? Okay. The slight issue we have is that we have no money. <laughs> <laughs> We've been expanding so fast that we have no money. Right, so. Now we have to look into what we can either decrease on the expansions on the expenses side or increase on the income side to try and solve this 600 coin deficit. Now, in theory, we actually had a 600 coin difference between our income and our expenses not quite but it's close to a 600 coin difference um so if we can actually make that up we might actually be able to fix that in one year it'll be tough and i don't want to trash my economy like i have in the past i think i think i've trashed my economy like twice in the past four years or something so we have to be really really careful how we do this Right, I've adjusted a few things. I've decreased pay by a little bit, but not a huge amount. And I have increased tax very, very slightly, but mostly on the wealthy. Because I can't... There's a, there's a lovely tax you can do above 100 coins. Because no one needs above 100 coins. Like, seriously, no one needs above 100 coins. So I've kind of kept the... I'm just checking how much money people have to make sure I'm not screwing people over. Mostly, I think it's going to be over the other side of the river that people are struggling. I mean, I consider like that. That's struggling. They're both unemployed. Oh no, one of them's unemployed. Okay. Okay, we're at the end of February, the thaw is coming in, so I'll have to basically just leave my economy to hopefully kind of settle itself and we can get working. It's perfect actually because a new house has just been built. Right, so let's scrap all but one of them. Let's scrap everyone from the construction office and let's get going with the ploughing. Hoping as soon as the... Yes, there we go. Right. So hopefully, I can get these three fields ploughed. Who moved out? Couldn't get enough shoes, yeah. Again, it's clothes. It's clothes that are killing me. Wow, you still need more limestone. Okay, so you're struggling because the mining camp is struggling. Do I need to make a second mining camp? I think we need to we need to work on uh, we need to prioritize farming at the moment. Right, so ouch. That took nearly half a month to get one field ploughed. Okay, that is not an option. That is not an option. Wowzer. That was painful. That was genuinely painful to watch. I'm not even sure if we can get the third field. Actually, let's deactivate. Oh, we can't because it's already started. Okay, we missed our chance. Uh, I really don't think we're going to get the third field anyway because we're nearly through the end of March. And I'm not sure that you can start planting after March. I've never actually tried. That'd be interesting to find out for future reference. All right, how are we doing on cows from? Okay, so we have two bulls and two cows. Okay, hopefully we'll get some more before the uh, before the end of the year. It'd be interesting to find out if we can actually keep on sowing after the end of March. Okay, so we're into April. I don't actually know what the uh, what the crop season is saying there. 
Oh nice, the limestone is going. Oh awesome. Oh that's really cool. So we're gonna have lime we're gonna have quick lime in no time. So I couldn't actually work out what the uh, what the growing seasons were even from the help menu. Um, but that is something I'm definitely gonna research outside of this episode. So these are nearly well no, they're not even half sewn either. Jeez. Okay, the method we've used we might have sl very, very slightly stabbed ourselves in the back. We can buy salt. Thank God. Well, actually, no, we can't. I don't think we can buy salt. <laughs> Let's try buying 500. I don't think we can. Well, they're coming. So, can we take out a bank loan? <laughs> Uh, I better get some. I better get a worker in the trading post. Let's just make sure there's two in there, just in case one of them's on break while they while um while they come in. Oh wow. Okay, so that's a that's a thing, I guess. <laughs> right. So said chappy should be arriving very very soon with my salt. Let's hope I can actually offload it. Ah, here we go. So how does that work then? Do you know what? I'm not going to complain about it. Because <laughs> it means we can produce goddamn leather. Now, we only have 200 cow hides. The problem is I can't aff I really, really can't afford to kill off any of those cows to get more cow hides. I really, really can't afford to do it. I can afford to kill off some of you, but quite frankly, we don't need it. <laughs> we have so much meat it is ridiculous chickens are still doing well chicken coop is full bloody hell and i'm going to i'm just gonna i'm just gonna not touch the the sheep and just basically just let them do their thing um is that still sowing they're still sowing into may jeez okay that's gonna be our late as hella harvest Wowzer. You know, this is the first time I've actually seen this building work working. <laughs> I love all the, the little details. It's actually pretty damn cool. So, I have just made quite a mega deal. And it's, it's going to cost me. It is really, really going to cost me. Um, but I can't see any way around it. <laughs> uh, let's give you a little bit of financial help where we can, just so you don't move out. So what I've done is I've bought some cows. I have bought two new cows, I've bought two new bulls, and I have bought two new ox which has costed me around 300 coins which we can't really afford to do but we don't really have a choice <laughs> so once this growing season is over I can concentrate on everything that comes from they should have been delivered already they have just been delivered okay wonderful now the question is do they need tack? I don't think they. I don't think they do. This is exactly what I was hoping would happen: is that only the horses would need tack. Yes. Perfect. Right. Let's get a worker in there and let's get creating some salt. Fingers crossed. Well, it's working, so I don't know. <laughs> There's no like bar or anything. Yeah, I, I really don't know. Okay, let's just focus on this. So we have sunflowers coming in, we have buckwheat coming in. I think we're quite in desperate need of some wheat. Yeah, we're going to be in need of some wheat next year. 
Uh, Barkley's going to be fine because it's coming in. Potatoes are absolutely chocker full. Pigs died of, died of starvation. What? Why? Okay, let's use potatoes. That's frustrating, but whatever. Do you know what, actually? We're going to go. We're going to do 200 on that. 200 on that, and then 200 on that. That way, we're not hitting anything too hard. Not hitting any resources particularly too hard. Yeah, I think your animals need some uh, <laughs> need some food. <laughs> I was kind of hoping the labourers would top that up, but I guess they've been so busy with the farms that they haven't had a chance. Okay, that's fine. Now we can take the we can take the other labourer off. Right, so that's fine. We can deactivate all of them. Um, let's turn that into fallow so that we have... Actually, we, we might not need to turn that into fallow because... No, we do. Okay, let's turn that into fallow. And then we'll just do wheat on all the rest once they're done harvesting. And we'll do wheat on all but the top one of these. Bingo. Now, the question I have is... Because I'm going to be doing wheat on all but one of them. Yeah, okay. I'm going to move him over to there. And that will happen when they have finished harvesting. Now, next up is that if we look at this, we have absolutely tons and tons and tons and tons and tons of fish. I can't actually see them. I mean, 7,000. We have 7,000 fish. So, what I'm hoping to do is, once we get this up and running, is that we're still waiting for enough cowhides to actually be able to use that, which is slightly awkward. Um, we don't have enough sheep to be able to use the hides from them, so there's no point in starting butchering them. So, what I'm hoping the salt works can do is produce enough salt for these chappies to start producing dried fish. And in doing so, I am hoping that we can then sell them. Because no one wants to buy fresh fish when you've got like a four day ride. They're not going to survive that, are they? They're fine in the village. But they're not going to survive the uh, the hauling to another town. So, if we can solve that by making dried fish, then hopefully people will buy things. Uh, who got married? Oh, congratulations. Well done. Where have you come from? That house. And that house. Yeah, <laughs> very close to each other. <laughs> Right, so we nearly we nearly got all of our houses done. Not quite. We still got four more to do. I think we might actually get that done before January. Hmm. Two more months to go. We might get that done. It's possible. Overall, we're not. Actually, I'm not going to say the S word. <laughs> I am not going to say the S word because I know I will bite myself in the arse over it if I say it. And we will get screwed over. So I'm not going to say that. I'm hoping. Very very much hoping. That. Do I need to hire someone else to go and get the salt? I don't. I. Oh no. We need to. That's what we need to do. That's the mistake I was making. I haven't actually designated them to make any dried fish. That's the issue I was making. That's the issue I was doing. Okay, so they now have gone because the season... Okay, I've done that wrong. They still need to be fishing in November. It must not be until December then that the, that the frost comes. Right, so that's got 500. And are people now going to take from that, hopefully? Nice, they have been taking from it. Oh, awesome. 
and I don't even need to do it because I can have the labourers do it. Wonderful. In fact, we've had a couple people die of old age this year. I think we've had two or three. What is it? 1929? 1729, yeah. Yeah, we've had three people die this year. Damn. Oh well. It's, it's part of life. <laughs> right. What can we now do to assist things? I suppose we can have a storage. Ah, they're drying in batches. I see, I see, I see, I see, I see. See, I've never, I've literally never done dried fish before. I just knew you needed salt. <laughs> we can deactivate that from now because we're not going to need any more lime anytime soon. Or any more quick lime, I should say, anytime soon. Another house completed. Nice. So that's taken what? About a half a month, maybe a third of a month. I reckon we can get the last three done. We're struggling for wood at all, not in the slightest, firewood is absolutely fine. Okay, we're doing good on that front so we can just leave two people in there. Does anything else need our attention? You're struggling for money, okay let's help you a bit. Now I would have said, prior to the purchase of the horses, prior to the purchases of the cows, I would have said that we were doing all right financially and that we're actually improving thing is we have improved our our income the previous year i think was about 1500 and it's 1800 now it's just this <laughs> this has hurt us a lot i mean we spent nearly what nearly 600 on imports this year Ouchie. That's painful. We're still spending more on salaries than we are on... <laughs> Basically, we're spending more on salaries than we have income. <laughs> Holy crap, that's not good. <laughs> uh, we have a crap ton coming in from housing rent. I don't I don't want to put that up anymore because we're already... You can, I'm actually going to lower housing rent. Um... Yeah, I'm going to lower housing rent because we are really hurting people. And that is not good. Um, I'm also going to lower that to 30. You see the jump we've made is is massive. I did literally I did literally double the la the land tax, but it has quite destroyed people, so I'm going to take that back down a bit. To be honest with you, housing rent hasn't changed that much. I'm going to I'm going to keep that at 110. Okay, so hopefully by lowering the taxes just a smidge, we can uh, actually help people out. I know we're we're, <laughs> we're actually ending up worse off than uh, than we did last year, but that I'm afraid cannot be helped. So what I'm actually going to do is have one person in there on the off season just so they can um, deal with all the dried fish and the salt and everything coming in. I think it might do it automatically, but I uh, I don't want to take the chance. Yep, see, they're salting fish. This is exactly what I wanted them to do. Perfect. Right, so that can do that over the winter. You need some help because, yeah, I've kind of hurt people this year with that, with the tax that I've made. That was uh, not a hugely smart idea. How are we doing on water? We're doing absolutely fine. You didn't go and collect any because you're a genius. Overall, I think we're doing pretty damn well. I don't think we're quite going to get these uh, these last few houses built before the end. You're going to move out because you don't have shoes and I can't create shoes because... Holy crap, where have they all come from? <laughs> okay. Um, I'm hoping that when the cows die, I just they get transferred to the slaughterhouse anyway. That's what I'm hoping. I don't actually know how, how long cows live in this game. I have a feeling that my rams are gonna, uh, are gonna die at some point, which is not particularly preferable, but <laughs> well, my rams and my sheep are gonna die at some point, which is not particularly preferable, but there is not a huge amount that I can do about that currently. 
Wow, they are absolutely chomping through that food, aren't they? Right, so it's just, it's really just the wheat we need. Um, I, where's my oil workshop? Yep, let's create some oil. And I think I'm actually going to look at trying to use the exporting more. What can we actually export? We have tons of milk. I don't particularly want to export the milk. Tons of flour. Mm, not particularly sure I want to export the flour either because <laughs> we can't need that. Dried fish we can certainly export. And uh, the same thing's happening with my chickens. So I think one of the big earners for us can actually be sunflower oil because we can make we can make it really really easily and it sells for quite a lot. <laughs> so I think we're just gonna we don't we don't really use it a huge amount. It I mean it kind of sells but it doesn't really sell. Um, so I think we're going to use it as kind of our main source of income, mostly because we have an absolute crap ton of it. <laughs> and as far as I can work out, there's not a huge amount of stuff you can actually use it for. I know that sunflower oil is used for cooking and everything like that, but other than that, it's not a huge amount of stuff you can actually use it for, and it sells really, really well. <laughs> So then we're going to use that as an extra little source of income. Other than that, I think next port of call is to make a warehouse over here and a granary to assist with these markets because I think they're really struggling with the amount of distance they have to they have to go to get their products as we can see here we have tons of eggs tons of firewood but it's just the distance they're having to go to actually get them and i know for a fact that we have tons and tons and tons and tons and tons of meat oh my god it's february i didn't even realize <laughs> that shows you how engrossed i get into this game i didn't even realize i've gone smashed past January by about a month holy crap we are into year number 10 so year number 10 stabilize our economy we have the salted fish coming in now which is absolutely perfect those are going in storage holy crap there's a metric ass ton of them okay in that case we're also going to start selling salted fish fish i don't know whether we can salt the ones that we already have in storage that'll be interesting to find out once we actually run out of fish but i don't think they will run out of fish because we're getting into the fishing season so i don't know <laughs> is, the, is the basic answer to that um i'm actually gonna have to plan what i'm gonna do next year because my my target for this year was to have been like probably about fifty percent recovered from the economy, but because we bought those cows, we've ended up worse off than we actually started. So I don't know what I'm going to do in year ten, and I will have to plan that. But regardless, as always, ladies and gents, thank you very much for watching. Thank you very much for support, and I'll see you next year. Well, actually, this year because I've blown on past it. <laughs>